Alrighty guys, so we made it. Uh, it's been a couple of days since I bought the car, uh, but I hadn't had time. I got busy with work and things of that nature, but there it is. It's a uh, 1985 BMW 325i. Um, you guys know I love BMWs, especially the 30s, especially the old school boxiness. And so uh, the story goes, um, just, you know, minding my own business. I think I was sending DMs to people that, you know, we could potentially have on the channel. And then my buddy Evan Tran, um, who also drives an Accord and drives a whole bunch of other cool projects, posted this for sale. He's in San Francisco. I'm in Orange County. For those that may not know, that's a six hour difference. So as soon as I saw, I was like, dude, I want it. How much? So he gives me a prize and I'm like, that's a good prize. He was like, yeah, man, um, I got a couple cars and, you know, it's going to a good home. I know you'll, you know, you'll take care of it or whatever. I was like, thanks, man. I appreciate it. I did tell him and I, like I told you guys, I'm using it more of a investment opportunity. I the plan is to keep it, maintain it. Uh, there's a couple of things we'll go over the things that needs to be fixed. Um, but if the right opportunity comes and somebody offers me a, a good number, I will let her go. Um, and mostly, and you guys know my situation, I don't have that much parking, and so it is a pain in the butt. Like today, the wifey had to help me to move this car and then Rosie. So it's not ideal to have a whole bunch of cars when you don't have space for them. We all know that, right? But the, the, the deal is so good, um, in my opinion, and the car is really, really clean, and I just love the E30s, man. I had to do it. I think some of you guys can definitely understand. Um, you know, so anyways, 85, um, I know, I told Armando about it, and this guy was like, no, you didn't, <laughs> lies. The, the original plan, the original plan was to go to San Francisco. I, I told Evan, I'm like, hey, man, um, so, so just to give you guys an idea, I bought this car like a week and a half before we left to Europe. So then a week and a half passed by, two weeks happened, and then I was gonna start making time uh, or making arrangements to go up north. Uh, Evan just happened to have uh, a trip down to SoCal. He's like, hey, he's just texting me out of nowhere on a Tuesday because I, you know, he's like, I'll see you Thursday. And I was like, what? What's happening on Thursday? So I forgot about it. Thursday comes and then I check my DMs. So obviously you guys know I'm back at work and I hadn't checked my phone the entire day. And he's like, hey, uh, how far are you from this location? Um, I'm in town, I brought the car and I'm gonna fly back. I was like, what? So Evan was nice enough to bring the car away from San Francisco and yeah. Uh, funny story his girlfriend is the one that gave me the keys because he had to uh, take a flight back because he himself was getting an EG this guy has like I don't know 12 cars whatever uh, so that's why he was so kind enough to to let this one go I absolutely love the color I love the the body uh, I think it's in very good condition um, he did he he was kind enough to tell me exactly everything that was wrong with the car he's like yeah dude the door you know has kind of banged up right here um, He's like the window for the motor for the window doesn't work so that window doesn't come down um he's like it's on some bbs wheels they're not in good condition it's completely stock it's never been modified hasn't been rolled hasn't been dropped it's you know it has some fading here on this uh grill portion so we're gonna definitely take care of that i'm gonna be getting the assistance from armando to help me with this car um at the moment has no plates has no insurance so that's why kind of um I wanted to come by to the park when we very first did our very first interview um, to Jackie on the channel. So um, just kind of wanted to stop by and show you guys because it's been a couple of days since uh, we picked up the car from the first video that you guys saw and I just needed to make time. Obviously, Papa Window is one of my most favorite, um, you know, things about these cars. Uh, what else? What else? It's all stock, so it has a big bumpers, um, you know, some some BMW heads may know they have some protection here that you can get rid of and then put the bumpers uh, a little bit shorter uh, or you know tuck them in or you can go with the Euro bumpers if I'm not mistaken. Armando is the one that teaches me all this stuff so um, yeah I'm just super super stoked. Uh, front lip we're gonna be respraying it making it a little bit nicer. The bones of the car they're intact they're gray the car runs very smooth there's no weird clunks there's no weird noises okay so the plan for this car is to just maintain it the way it is. Clean it up, that's pretty much what I wanna do. Just clean it up. Um, you know, 
we're gonna do wash and talks with them uh once i get it registered and everything i'm gonna be cruising it i want to keep it stock because i think that's more appealing for any any potential buyers um but anyways let's get to it like i said it's a 325i so um definitely not the 830 m3 not yet um well from the outside uh i don't know the exact name of the color it's an oem color um again the door is the only part that i see that has some damage the hood is perfect armando was like dude i want your hood <laughs> i was like nah um there's some damage here but all this can be you know resprayed we'll take out the the corner and we'll do something with that and there is a little bit of you know just heating um it changes kind of the form of the the little plastic things but nothing too crazy the lights are in working condition um what else what else what else it probably will need tires eventually but i don't think i'm gonna run through them anytime soon they look really, really fresh same thing the little plastic car, you know things in the back that need to be resprayed or at least just give them a little touch up it's gonna make the car pop even more um armando was considering polishing at the car uh he's like there's a lot of life in that car so you know i'm down to do it as well i love the fishbowl look nope we're not gonna tint anything i absolutely love it we're gonna go to the junkyard or uh, i might just order a new one see it depends how far how hard it is to find a uh, motor for the window obviously the strims they've seen better days i mean 1985 to the math it's what 15 plus 20 well, that's an old car 35 it's a classic car so yeah that's from the outside nothing crazy working sunroof so that's pretty cool i actually like the sunroof super thin doors um from the interior it is automatic I, I forgot to mention that so yes all of you can now dislike the video because you know manual or nothing uh but no the interior is pretty you know pretty clean everything's there there's nothing you know really missing but there's a lot of things the seats could use a, a repulsory may not get to it unless i find some nice seats um yeah we have some you know covers it's cool the panels they look in pretty good condition not really tripping too much um seating wise it's so good it's it's just the smell of it is man i don't know how to explain it so interior is pretty good it's a little dirty you know we'll clean it up that's not a major issue transmission doesn't feel anything weird um accelerator it may need brakes or maybe just is the way um the very first time i drove armando c30 i was like dude this thing feels heavy he's like yeah they're a little they're not heavy but i think the the way they're gas savers so they you have to really press on the gas and then you have to press on the brake i don't know how to explain it if you drive if you've ever driven an e30 you probably know what i'm talking about or maybe i'm just crazy because i felt it the same the first time i drove our armando c30 that was the first time i ever drove an e30 and he was just like yeah that's how they all drive i was like okay now i drove this one i'm like yes that's how they all drive ac uh it blows but i'm not cold there's a couple buttons we gotta fix uh turn signals are not working haven't checked if it's maybe it's a fuse um what else what else it looks like the gas tank does work but not the temperature gauge so that's something that you know we gotta look into what else um, um, doo -doo 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 -doo. um everything else is pretty good e-brake works hopefully <laughs> it doesn't get stuck uh radio it works very very minimal um but yeah i'm super stoked the uh, sunroof works so evan thank you so much man i appreciate you made uh you know an accomplishment um it is one of the dream cars I'm not gonna lie you know we all have dream cars i'm not gonna say this is the dream car because it's not uh we have too many dream cars and so the e30 is definitely one of them um and i'll take care of it for as long as it is whether it's three months whether it's a year i don't know maybe it's less than that maybe i go to a cars and coffee in it and somebody says hey we'll offer you x amount i'll be like okay um so that's what we got what do you guys think are you guys excited about this again the goal is to keep it as stock as possible and just refresh it like some of these little things but nothing crazy um i mean i don't know if you guys want to see the motor there's there you go i'm afraid something's gonna fall there look at that the plan is to case swap and i'm kidding <laughs> no 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 no. so um again i haven't messed with anything i need to check the oil that's an important thing to do um nothing that's done to the car stock suspension stock everything uh, obviously six in line um hoses look good i'm sure there's some leaks here and there we can definitely address those 
uh, I think Armando since now he's working uh, for a European dealership and with his experience with the E30 I feel confident having him help me with a, a lot of these different things in the motor so he's definitely gonna be a good use because to be honest with you guys I don't even know which one's the engine and which is the transmission I haven't taken the time to actually do the research but don't worry that takes two seconds I know <laughs> um, but yeah other than that I think the, the car runs very smooth like I said um, I don't know I, it's just exactly what I expected and more um, so yeah that's this is a new I'm not even gonna call it a project but yeah I hope you guys like this car and do a couple wash and talks things gonna look cool and uh yeah you know you'll see me you'll see me drive this this thing's badass man i'm so super stoked um big thanks to you guys because if it wasn't for you guys i probably wouldn't be able to you know uh allocate some of the funding for this and so ultimately it's you guys' attention that i really appreciate um the fact that you're still taking the time to you know chill and and show some support so anyways uh big shout out to all you honda heads even if this is now your cup of tea uh i appreciate you guys bad love and yeah we'll catch you on the next one Peace out. Alrighty guys, so taking for a little cruise. Like I said, temp gauge doesn't work. Everything else seems to be working. I mean, honestly, it's a 30 plus year old car. Like, what do you expect? Uh, and if you don't ever want to have a car that doesn't have any issues, then go buy yourself a new car. Uh, except Kia's, because they'll still have issues. Nah, kidding. Shout out to Kia Brothers. Um, but yeah, I mean, it drives good. There's no weird clunky noises or anything, stock suspension. So, you know, uh, the brakes, yeah, definitely got to press on them a little bit more. Uh, he made, you know, Evan made it down the grapevine. So I told my wife, she moved it today. She's like, it needs brakes. So I was like, ah, it's fine. He made it down the grapevine, you know. Uh, so she's like, ah, that's true. But the car is good. I mean, it's a, a six cylinder. So it'll, it'll get a little bit of gas, but man, this is cool. It's super the, the, the feeling that you have when you're driving like a cool boxy 80s car or it's just any old school boxy car is pretty pretty incredible and so I'm glad that I'm able to experience this so uh, hopefully you guys you know like this type of car and if you don't well you don't